So I'm kind of a nerd. I've always loved the topic of space and the universe. And because of that, I'm obsessed with aliens. Maybe I'm just weird, but when I hear those crazy UFO stories or alien conspiracies, chef's kiss. And that leads me to today. In my Minecraft build, I've already built some really cool alien themed builds. Like these awesome UFOs. Or my giant moon base. Or even this giant alien planet. But today, we're gonna top all those things. I'm gonna build an absolutely massive alien mothership. Which will contain a huge alien science lab inside of it. And this will all be done in Minecraft Hardcore. I'm completely nerding out right now. But enough talking about it. Let's go get to work. So your typical UFO is usually shaped like a disc. Maybe it has some cool lights on it, and of course, it has a little dome in the middle for the aliens to sit inside of. So it's gonna look something kinda like this one. Just like 20 times bigger and a lot more detailed. And maybe we'll pass on the giant red beam coming out of it. Oh, this thing is so cool, but just super unnecessary. Excuse me! Stupid aliens. But okay, with the shape all figured out, now we gotta work on the most important part, which is the block palette. Now, I'm not sure what block to use for a giant UFO, mostly because I've never seen one before. And trust me, I've tried. But I kind of think this thing should look metallic in a way. So maybe some white concrete, a grayish block like cyan terracotta, good, and some kind of dark block. Maybe polished deep slate? Huh? I like it. Well, don't Definitely throw in some more colors later, but for the base of it, that's perfect. Now to farm up thousands upon thousands of those blocks and I'm out of fireworks. BRB! And now we're all set. So as I already said, this build is gonna be absolutely massive. So I literally spent hours mining blocks and farming up concrete. And as I do all that, please subscribe and hit the bell. I gotta convert all this terracotta into cyan, but why is there no cyan flower in the game? Stupid Minecraft making me craft my own dyes. I hate when things aren't super easy. If you haven't learned, I am really lazy. Okay, we now have a ton of materials. I don't really know if we have enough blocks to build the entire UFO, but quite frankly, getting all these blocks was really boring. So I want to start building now. This makes me miss the glory days when Minecraft YouTubers could build a tiny house and then call it a day. Ah, the memories. But putting my nostalgia aside, where should I put the UFO? Maybe somewhere over here by the hillside. I mean, it's pretty empty over here, so sure, why not? What do you think, Mr. Horsey? I think he's okay with it. And if not, I'm sure I could change his mind. Yeah. Okay, let's build. Oh, no, don't rain. I hate building in the rain. Fine, whatever. So let's take some dirt and pillar up into the sky. And I have to decide how high should this UFO be? Oh, no way that puny little UFO is gonna be higher up than my mothership. Ain't no way. My mothership must be superior to all other ships. Okay, I think that should be fine. Now, I'm just gonna go sleep to get rid of this stupid rain. Excuse me. Ah, rise and shine. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. But okay, here, uh, here comes, uh, here comes the fun part. Here comes the fun part. It's time to start building the UFO. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. I'm not really sure how to make like a proper disc shape. So I guess I'm just gonna make a big circle and try and go from there. Oh no, we're just gonna wing it. Okay, that's the first layer done. And pretty much, we're just gonna keep expanding these circles out further and further, going higher and higher until we have some cool disc shape, I guess. And hopefully it looks like a UFO and not a giant floating pancake. Wish me luck. If you use your imagination, it kind of looks like we're in a snow biome right now. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, gosh. This is a UFO, not a mob grinder. Oh, jeez. No. I am moderately upset right now. Sometimes I really wish I could use peaceful mode. Today is one of those days. And a little bit later, here is what we got. And oh my goodness, I love the shape. I love the size. Like it really is coming out super good. But I also got to admit something about it still seems off to me. I think the bottom of the UFO should be like an entrance and not just some random flat floor. But don't you guys worry. I think I have the perfect idea. So I'm thinking if we hop down here to my iron farm. Ow. And I grab some of this stuff. And I craft some trap doors. This could make a pretty cool entrance down here. And would you look at this gorgeous view? Oh my gosh, look at all the mobs down there. Wait, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bingo! I'm the hardcore king. Bingo! 
Um, why don't we sprinkle in some sea lanterns to make it look a little pretty around the side? And just a few more final details. Oh, that was almost really bad. And voila, look how much better that thing looks. I don't want to jinx it, but if everything goes to plan, this could be my best Minecraft build of all time. No pressure, Farzy. No pressure. But now that we have the basic design for the UFO, I want to start customizing it and making it look more alien-y. And the best way to do that is to add in a whole bunch of colors and not fall to your death. But mostly the part about the colors. So when I think about your classic science fiction colors, my brain immediately goes to greens and light blues, but I probably can't afford these kind of blocks. So instead, I'm gonna grab some of this, some of this. Um, hello there, sir. Water pig, water pig, water pig. And now you're dead. Where was I again? Oh yeah. So what do we think about some cyan concrete and some lime concrete powder? I think the zombies like the idea of this. Look at them. They love it. They're coming right towards me. Thank you. Thank you. I love all my fans. Even the babies. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I hate my fans. Don't kill me, please. Okay, we're good. And just like how we did for the bottom of the UFO, I think adding in some sea lanterns would be a very wise idea. But unfortunately, I used them all. So follow me this way. Because right over here, we have the amazing... Oh, I'm stuck in the wall. The amazing guardian farm with... No... Oh, okay, there we go. I'm all over the place today. And bingo. Farzee, my boy, you are gifted. I absolutely love it. And the best part, if you look really closely, the lamp has a cool little animation on it too. So it kind of looks alien-y anyways. Is that a word? Alien-y? No. Kids, stay in school. I might not be the smartest person ever, but oh boy, I can make a good Minecraft build. I just need a few more sea lanterns. Don't kill me. You die. Oh, I'm out of cyan. Die again. If one of you guys watching this can show me how to make an infinite cyan farm, I will give you one Farzy token. I don't know what it does, but it's worth between zero and a million dollars. So good luck. Okay, don't get me wrong. I think it looks really, really cool, but I still think something is missing. Like we need one more thing on here, but I'm not sure what that would be. Uh... Wait, I think, I think I have it. Oh yeah, I got it. If you recall my drawing from earlier, I was saying we need some cool lights along the side of the UFO. I don't know how I forgot about that, but it's okay. The idea is back. And there is no question in my mind that a nice red block would be the perfect like sci-fi light. I have nine redstone blocks. I need some more. Anything in here? No. How about here? No. Come on, there's gotta be something in here. Ugh. All right, well, looks like we're going down to the mines. The children yearned for the mines. Now just to find some redstone, which I probably already mined all of it, but I'm still gonna look anyways. Oh, mamma mia. I'm just gonna carefully go back to where I came from. I don't like being totemless. It's very scary. Uh, we have a slight situation here. Yeah, I gotta go. Oh my gosh, my chest hurts. Let me just grab one of these. And back we go. And that should be good. Now we're gonna fly up to the UFO. Okay, I can't get my balance today. Take two. There we go. Nice and easy. And we're gonna smash out a lantern. Oh, that's annoying. Smash out some concrete too. Replace it with a redstone block. And I'm gonna try covering it with a piece of red glass so it kind of looks three-dimensional. I really hope it looks good because I'm just gonna go for it and face the consequences later. Yes, I absolutely love that. And I even have one more really cool idea. Don't ask any questions. Just go with it. One more ingredient. And boom. Now we got these end rods that we can actually use to connect to the giant red light. So it kind of looks like a light fixture. And as a bonus, it has some pretty cool particle effects too. That is 10,000 times better. Now let's carry on with the rest of our UFO. Right after I heal up my tools. Because I for one do not enjoy breaking all my gear. <laughs> Much better. So I spent the entire rest of my night farming up concrete and building the top half of the UFO. But I decided to stop here because now I want to build that classic alien themed dome right in the middle. And I think it's going to look totally awesome. Holy guacamole. There's a lot of mobs in this UFO. Oh, it's been zero days since the last incident. Uh, I'm getting really sick and tired of all. Oh. 
This is not going well. But getting back to my dome plan, I think it's safe to say I am the master of the dome. Because I'm the guy who loves making mob cities inside of glass domes. So, yeah. So, that being said, we're gonna need quite a lot of glass, which I think I might have some in my smeltery. Hello there. I got a stack and a half. <laughs> That's not gonna cut it. So, in typical Farzy fashion, it's sand mining time. And yes, I know I have a sand farm, but I just like mining sand. It's very sad. Satisfying. Ooh. Have I been here before? Is there any loot in here? Please be a goat horn. Uh, I want more goat horns. Maybe one day, Farzy. Maybe one day. Oh, if this isn't the cutest little village you've ever seen. Look at this thing. It's like three houses. Yes, protect your homeland. Good man. Oh, oh no. And there we go. And I totally didn't get bored of mining sand and just go to the sand farm after all. I would never do that. But let's pop this sand in the smelter. And now we wait. But not just just any wait. Just go wait. It's not making it go any faster. All right, we got our glass. And I decided I'm gonna dye it all lime green. Just to add some more of those sci-fi colors to the thing. So we do a little bit of this. A lot of this. Is that a zombie on a chicken? This is turning into a weird episode. <laughs> And behold the giant glass dome. And I gotta say, this thing came out so good. Like, I love how it looks. I even add in some cool details like some red glass and terracotta and this giant gray outline along the top of it. But to make a long story short, this thing is exactly how I want it to look. Like, it is so good. I mean, except for all the mobs down here. I don't... Oh. I don't want them here. Please go away. I probably gotta craft some torches. But before we carry on, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 10,000 likes, I would fight three withers all at once. And unfortunately, we just barely missed it. But since I'm such a kind and considerate person, I'm gonna do the challenge anyways. I've never actually tried to fight multiple withers. So let's go. Okay, so first thing is we gotta go get some wither skulls. And I know for a fact somewhere out here I have a farm for that. I probably should have marked it better. Aha! They don't call me Farzy the Navigator for nothing. I could find a needle in a haystack. Hello, wither skeletons. Well, they're supposed to start spawning behind me. Uh-oh. I heard a noise. There's guys here. Yes, go down there. Yes, yes, they're spawning. The plan is working flawlessly. <laughs> And a little bit of item filtering later, we have the nine skulls we need. And after grabbing a few more essentials, it was time to rock. Time to rock? I don't know why I said that. That actually sounded so cringe. But okay, it's wither time. On we go. So I think the safest place to do this fight is underground. That way they can't just easily escape. Aha, uh -huh, big cave alert, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just keep following the cave, Farzy. Oh, well, that's it. I guess I'll keep digging then. I don't know where I'm going, but... I like this path. Oh, and a mob spawner. Okay, we're finding all the good loot right now. Okay, you know what? I think this area is probably big enough. Well, all right, here goes nothing. Here we go. Okay, run away. Get my hot bar all situated. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Have patience, Farzy, have patience. Oh, uh, withered, withered. Okay, milk, 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 milk. Oh, why is the lighting so weird in this cave right now? Just keep bowing, just keep bowing. Oh, they're all together. This is easy. Oh, no, maybe not. Let's eat a golden apple just to be safe, and let's get back in here. It's so hard because they keep healing up. I gotta shoot them quicker. Come on, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Uh oh this is really stressful. This is really stressful. I've already gone through, like, all my milk. This is not good. Oh! He needs some milk. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Dodge, evade, be swifty, be shifty, be elusive. All right, eat an apple and get ready to get back in. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's right here, he's right here. Cool, 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 cool. Come on, keep at it, keep at it. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. I'm doing some damage now. Come on, Farzy, get him. He's so close. Die, 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 die. Please, 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 please. Okay, one down, one down, one down. Oh, hide. Oh, totem. Other totem, other totem. Okay, okay, okay. One down. We are making progress. Oh my God, he's right there. Ah! Sword mode. Don't kill me. 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 Second one down. Second one down. Second one down. All right, guys, we're doing it. On to our last target. Last golden apple. Leave my world, please. Please go faster. Oh, no, 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 no. We did it. We did it. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I have no totem. I have no totem. No, 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 no. no. What, what do I do? I have no totem. Water, something. Please stop killing me. Am I gonna make it? I think I'm okay. It's gone. It's gone. 
it's gone. And there we have it, guys. Three wither stars at your disposal. I am the hardcore king. Now get me out of here now. But that being said, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will blindfold myself and try and defeat a ravager. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I have some confidence in myself. So like the video. But getting back to the mothership, everybody knows that UFOs are known for abducting things. So I think it'd be cool if our mothership had some giant beam shooting down almost like they're abducting something. I can already kind of picture how it's gonna look and I think it's gonna be sick. So let's build back up. Uh, spider, can you not do that please? Thank you. And I'm gonna put some end rods here almost to look like blasters for the UFO beams. Looking good, looking good. And now of course it's time to make those beautiful sci-fi beams. And I have just the block for this. I think the perfect block for a science fiction beam is... If I can find it. Oh, there it is slime blocks. Like, come on. This is absolutely perfect. It just looks alien-y. I love it. And the way I picture this is we make some giant circular beams. So like circles that get lower and lower and lower until we hit the ground or at least close to it. So we do this, bring it around the sides like this. And finally, we're going to sprinkle in a little bit of lime glass just to kind of mix up the texture a little bit. Well, all right. Now I just got to go make about 20 more of these things. This might take a little bit. Well, it appears I'm already out of slime blocks. You absolutely hate to see it. But lucky for me, over here, I actually have a slime farm. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I AFK'd a lot before this video started because I knew I was gonna use slime blocks. So hopefully we have a pretty nice supply. I mean, that's, oh, that, that's actually really good. That's actually very good. I love being prepared for once. I don't even know why I need a slime farm like this. Like, I can't think of one build that needs a ton of slime. Except maybe my giant slime trampoline. I kind of forgot about you. No, Farsi, get back to work. Don't jump. I have to do it. I, I gotta do it. Come on. Whee! Oh, I love it. Oh, stupid evil bird thing. Die. I am superior. Okay, back to work. I don't really understand how mobs are spawning on the rings, but okay. But oh my goodness, look at this thing. It looks so sick. And if we fly underneath it, look at... Oh, <laughs> oh I love it. Oh, hello there. Are you holding a sea lantern and gunpowder and dirt? I think it's time we stop pushing this off. <laughs> And hopefully that takes care of business. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brace yourself. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Now that the mothership has the capabilities to abduct things, it feels like the perfect time to build a giant alien science lab inside of it. Uh, there's a lot of mobs in here. Come on, get me out of here. Oh, I have popped so many totems today. <laughs> if I didn't have a totem farm, I would absolutely be dead. And here we are. Thank you. Ah, being overpowered is fun. 360 segue. So the idea is, is that the aliens are abducting things to study them inside of this giant science lab. So we're gonna start things off with a nice flat floor. And we're gonna bring this all across the middle, which also means I need even more concrete. Ah, I'm so sick of concrete today. Okay, good. Now we just gotta build some alien looking containers for all the abducted mobs to stay inside of. And I actually think I have a pretty solid idea for this. Let's Let's try some prismarine and combine it with some light blue glass. It kind of looks like a tube full of like weird alien fluid. And wait, there's more. Boom, boom, and boom. Ah, ah, come on now. That looks way more alien-y now. This looks sick. Now I just gotta build enough of these things to fill up the entire spaceship. BRB. So I spent a couple hours filling up this science lab with all these cool containers. And I randomly decided to add this giant giant green tube as well. I kind of envision this being like the power source for the UFO. So I'm just gonna build some weird science contraption here in the middle. Yeah, maybe. Sure. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm getting a little bit sick of building this thing. So I'm just gonna say it's good. But now it's time for the easy part. At least I think. It is time to fill these tubes up with real Minecraft mobs. So what's the best way to go about this? Hmm. If I had to guess, it'd be make a giant dirt staircase from the forest 
forest right up to the UFO. That way I can easily get all these animals on the staircase and bring them up into their tubes. Did you hear that, buddy? You're going in a giant alien tube. Congratulations. I'm super duper jealous of him. Eh, not really. All right, looks good. Now allow me to go grab some delicious wheat. And everybody, follow me. Bruh, I swear it's rained like 10 times this episode. I hate the rain. As I round up the last couple of mobs, I do want to say, for the past couple of months, I've been talking about launching a public Minecraft server that all you guys can play on with me. And I know it's been a super long wait, but guys, we are getting really close to the launch of it. So if you're still interested in joining the server, make sure you're in my Discord so you can get all the latest updates about it. And you guys should also totally subscribe to my new YouTube channel, Extra Farzy. Because when the Minecraft server does come out, I'll be posting tons of content for it on that extra channel. Okay, that's enough stuff promotion for one episode. And okay, for our final few mobs, we got the snow golem, we got the iron golem, and we have the beautiful little puppy over there. This science lab looked absolutely glorious, and there's only one more thing left to do. We gotta get some alien scientists to run the place. But unfortunately, Minecraft has no aliens in the game. So instead, we have the one, the only, Broderick the chicken scientist. Oh, there you are. Hello, Broderick. How you doing? Oh, he's, he's off and running. And he laid an egg. Okay. Broderick, no messing around. We gotta get you up there in that UFO to go do science stuff. Yeah, sounds good. I think he likes the idea. See, this actually works out super well for Broderick. He studied science on the moon, on Earth, and now he gets to do it in an alien spaceship science lab. This is Broderick's dream. All right, here we go. Broderick, make yourself at home. Oh, look at him. It's like a kid in a candy store. See you later, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot one thing. Broderick always needs his scientific journal. And now he's all set. Just for the record, I am totally kidding. But that's gonna be it from me. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.